Let's integrate the inverse sine function. But then it seems that we don't have a lot of things to work with. And I don't know the derivative of what will give me inverse sine x right away, right? However, we can still use integration by parts for this question. And let me show you. For integration by parts, once again, we have to choose something for u and then something for dv. So let's just like get this ready. Something for u and something for dv. For the u part, you have to differentiate that. For the dv part, you have to integrate that. And we only have one choice right here, right? one thing right here. This is the inverse sine x, right? That's the function part that we have. Um, if you put the inverse sine x for dv, <laughs> you're just asking yourself the original question. Because if you put this right here, you have to integrate inverse sine x. But then that's exactly what we're trying to do. So we have no choice but put the inverse sine x for the u. Okay? And then for the dv, we'll just choose dx for the dv. How can we differentiate inverse sine x? You should remember the derivative table really well. So what's the derivative of inverse sine x? And you should tell me this is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. But then we are talking about differential. Let's put a dx on the side. Okay, So know your derivative table really well. For dv is equal to dx, we are going to integrate both sides. And we can get v is equal to x. And with this, we are ready to move on. Right? These are the ingredients that we need for the integration by parts. The formula says we have to multiply u and v together. u is inverse sine x. We have to multiply that with v, which is x. So we are going to multiply these two together. Let me write this down as x times inverse sine x. And then the formula says we are going to subtract the integral. So let me put on subtract the integral of v du. And notice that v du is just this row. It's just x times 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So I can put the x on the top and over that on the denominator dx. So this right here is v du. So that will be the first step for the integration by parts. right? This is done. This is part of the answer already. So I'm pretty much just going to copy this down a few more times. But then this is the integral that we have, we have to work out still. What's the integral of x over square root of 1 minus x squared? We have to use a substitution for that. But then we use the u right here already. Let me use a w substitution. Let's look at it right here. The integral of x over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so we'll focus on just that integral. Let w equals to 1 minus x squared, so the inside function. And differentiate both sides, we get dw equals to the derivative of this is just negative 2x dx. I have to isolate the dx. So divide negative 2x on both sides, I get dx equals to dw over negative 2x. And we can take this integral into the w world. So the x stays the same on the top, but the inside of the square root becomes the w, dx becomes dw over negative 2 x. And as you can see here, we have 1 over negative 2. We can take our number to the front. We have the negative 1 half right here. But then here is the x on the numerator. Here is the x on the denominator. We can cancel these two x out. So we have just 1 over square root of w inside. But then 1 over square root of w is the same as w to the negative 1 half power. So this part right here is the one that we have to integrate. Integral of w to the negative 1 half power, we can do the reverse power rule. Namely, let me add 1 to this. So negative 1 half plus 1, that will give us positive 1 half. Okay, positive 1 half. And then I have to divide by the new exponent. Divided by 1 half, it's the same as multiply by 2 over 1. So that's the reverse power rule. So as you can see, we have the negative, but then 1 half times 2 over 1, it's just 1, so they cancel out. And then we have w raised to the 1 half power. Okay, and that's it. But then we can write this back as negative, the 1 half power is the square root, and the w is 1 minus x squared. So altogether, this integral is just negative square root of 1 minus x squared. And I'm going to use this part right here for this integral. So I'm looking at the next line as x times the inverse sine x 
minus the integral give you a negative square root of 1 minus x squared. Once again, this is from the formula. Okay, this negative is from the formula. And then the integral itself, it's a negative result. And we have the negative, negative, of course, that changed to plus, and this is it. This is the function part. So we are done. We can put a plus C at the end. And then, of course, don't forget to box the answer. This is it.